An hour southwest of Wichita, Kansas, is a tiny town called Argonia. There, buried deep in the Kansas prairie, is the story of a trailblazing woman, Susanna Medora Salter. And that was some people, and they had never heard of Susanna Medora Salter. And this has been 25 years, 30 years back. I'm always coming across stuff. <laughs> I can see that. Carol Pierce has spent her life preserving Susanna's legacy in her collection of articles, stories, and newspaper clippings. There's a lot of stories out there. Emerges the unlikely story. At the time, I mean, she's pretty young when this happens, right? Yeah, late 20s. I think she had two or three kids at that point. I mean, she was still doing all of the things in her household. Susanna Medora Salter was a supporter of the prohibition movement, but had no political aspirations. Yet, thanks to a new Kansas law signed in 1887, Susanna Anna and women across Kansas were about to vote for the very first time. But some of the men in town had other ideas. Election morning, Susanna was home tending to the wash when she received a life-altering surprise. Her name was on the ballot for mayor. She was the only one of the women in that WCTU group who actually lived in town. So she was the only one eligible. It was the work of several Argonia men who, as legend has it, enjoyed their booze and their billiards and weren't about to let the temperance union dry up their town. Secretly substituting a woman's name at the top of the ticket, the Prohibition Party would suffer an embarrassing loss. Or so they thought. It's a really fascinating story because, honestly, it was an accident that she was even elected in the first place. 